Welcome to Carolina Week Sports. I'm Sarah Moore. The reason our male ratings have skyrocketed. While most freshmen worry about finding their classes, some new members of the football squad have to find their place on the team. So far, no worries. They're playing a lot. Starting your freshman year at a school like UNC is a transition in itself. Starting your freshman year as a football player at UNC has plenty of added challenges. They're certainly further along than any freshman class from that standpoint of knowing kind of what to expect. Uh, but by the same token, you know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff they don't know. Freshman athletes have a lot to learn about their sport and their campus. They often look to older teammates for guidance in both realms. If you got a good relationship with somebody off the field, they won't listen to you on the field. So it'd be better, it'd be easier to coach them up and try to get them to where they want to be. The close relationships the upperclassmen have formed with the freshmen seem to pay off in Saturday's game when the Tar Heels plowed through James Madison 37 to 7. You know, these kids have got a lot of pride. Uh, they want to, they, they've got something that they'd like to prove there uh, that, uh, you know, that, that, that Carolina can play football. And that's exactly what they did. Freshman Greg Little and Marvin Austin both saw quality playing time in the first game. Just bringing them along as, as friends as well as teammates, that's going to help them come along a lot faster. Marvin Austin's always at my house eating up all my food. Many returning players say it's this close relationship off the field that helps them play better as a team on the field. In a day when coaches ask their athletes to be bigger, stronger, and faster than their opponents, it's nice to have peers willing to make the same sacrifices. The women's soccer team is in unfamiliar territory, having lost 1-0 in the first game of the season versus South Carolina. The Gamecocks scored early, and the Tar Heels were never able to put one of their many shots into the net. In front of a crowd of more than 3,000 fans, the Tar Heels outshot the Gamecocks 12-3. The Tar Heels also took 13 more corner kicks than the Gamecocks. Coach Anson Dorrance says that there's much to learn from this game. Well, our speed of play in the first half was just too slow. Uh, we were playing with uh, the arrogance of someone who had already won the game, and I don't think that serves us well. The Carolina field hockey team is off to a great start, undefeated against some quality competition. The team beat number two ranked Wake Forest on Friday evening and James Madison on Sunday afternoon. Elizabeth Drazdowski and Larry Bean scored against Wake Forest. During the JMU matchup, Drazdowski and Rachel Dawson helped the UNC to victory with one goal each. The number three ranked Tar Heels have set high goals for the 2007 season. Coach Karen Shelton says the key to winning the ACC and the NCAA championships is patience and persistence. Uh, we're going to be working on, a, on every phase of the game to get better. I do think we have a very good team and we're going to be one of those uh, fighting for a championship at the end. The cross country team teams are off and running following a strong showing at the UNC Challenge Saturday morning. The women's team ran away with the victory after six UNC runners placed in the top ten. Addie Bracey led the women. She finished first in the 5K run with a time of 18 minutes and 30 seconds. The men's team claimed second place falling to a high point team that placed four of the top five runners. Coach Mike Whittlesey says overall he was pleased with the team's first performances of the season. Just need to, to wake up a little bit and that's what the first meet's all about is just reminding our bodies and, and our hearts what, what racing really is all about. The next meet will be in Boone where the men and women will run in the Mountaineer Open on September 14th. And so, yeah, it was a great weekend for sports, wasn't it? It really was. I, I'm really excited about the rest of all of the seasons. One thing that is going to be interesting, though, is to watch the women's soccer team and see sort of how they develop and react to this loss against South Carolina. They're not used to losing this early in the season, are they? They're not, but hopefully they can have a major comeback. Absolutely. Thank you, Sarah. It's not every day you get to meet a Renaissance man. But coming up, we'll show you one who jumps, juggles, and plays with fire.